Okay, guys, welcome to the webinar. I really appreciate it, and I want to thank everybody, first and foremost, for taking time out of your schedules. My name is Brian Bean. I want to go ahead and get rocking and rolling tonight because someone cares enough about you to share one of, one of America's best-kept secrets, and that's how do we make money with a strategy. One of the biggest things people need in America right now is a financial plan. They want to make sure they're comfortable with the decisions they make. They want to make sure that they have a legacy that they leave for their children and, gra and grandchildren and that we're not just working every day going to Rob Peter to pay Paul. So what this call is about, this call is about something you can start doing right now, today. This call is about some things you can implement that wealthy people do from day one. This call is about how to stop losing money to entities that are taking your money. This call is not about sales. This is not fluff and puff. This is real deal strategies that millionaires use, and you too can get those same results, like a lot of people in our movement. So I want to make sure everybody understands that. This is not a pie-in-the-sky type mentality. Um, first and foremost, we give, a, we give this concept a basic uh, formula called 243. And what 243 basically means is everybody in America has two primary objectives, four challenges keeping you from your objectives, and three solutions. So we call that 243. So if you have a little outline and you want to take notes, let's first tackle the two objectives everybody in America has. I think the first objective is really simple. Whatever the lifestyle that you have right now, whatever the lifestyle that you've defined for yourself currently, whatever it may be, whether it's a $10,000 a month lifestyle or whether it's a $5,000 or a $3,000 a month lifestyle or a $30,000 a month lifestyle, whatever you've established, as to what it takes for you to be happy, we all want to make sure that we can maintain that, that, that type of lifestyle. I don't know about you guys, but I've been, in, I've been in a position where the rug was actually swept from up under me. I know what it's like to rob Peter to pay Paul and have Peter and Paul looking for me. So trust me when I tell you, I was living paycheck to paycheck. I wasn't doing webinars all happy and optimistic. You know, it seemed like right out of college. I just wasn't that guy. But here's what I learned quickly. Even if your current objectives are met, what about your future objectives? You see, your current objectives can be met with labor, meaning you go to work, you get paid, but most people don't realize this. What in the world makes individuals think that your future objectives, when you're not working, are going to get better than they were when you were working? See, America tells you this pot of gold called retirement, and they even call it the golden years. But think about it. Most Americans are living paycheck to paycheck right now, and they're going in every day. So how in the world is your future lifestyle supposed to be met if your current lifestyle is barely met? So here's ideally what would happen, just so you guys know. Your current years are paid for by your labor, and your future years are paid for by your investments. Write that down if you're taking notes. My current years are labor. My future years are investments. So what do I need to do to make the future years look a lot brighter? Well, it's real simple. First, you've got to recognize the four things that are keeping your future investments from happening. So if one day money has to be the root of your income, right, write this down, what am I going to do when I stop working? That's one thing you've got to consider. What are you going to do? How is it going to happen? Is Social Security going to be there? Maybe, maybe not. Will the pension or the 401K cover it? Maybe, maybe not. Here's why. You have to understand, inflation, number one, is eating away at your income every day. See, capitalism demands that the cost of doing business continues to rise. So what happens is if, 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 um, if a business owner has to increase his revenues and therefore increase his profits, it's simple. He makes a decision that things are going to get a little more expensive. Well, your boss, nine times out of ten, that does not give you that same respect. They don't say, okay, Brian, you know gas is now up to 4 and $5 in some states. So here's a pay raise to go with the gas increase. Wouldn't that be nice? But they don't. So what happens is this, guys. Even if you make the same amount of money that you were making 10 years ago, or if you make more money, I'm sorry, than you were making 10 years ago, you're actually making the same money. Because if everything else doubled, your money has to double. And we all know that your money doesn't double at the rate of inflation. So a hamburger that was once $1.99 might now be $4. But did your, you know, did your $50,000 a year salary become $100,000 a year to catch up with the double? Absolutely not. So that's the first thing we have to understand is your, your dollar loses value every day, even if you don't lose money. 
The second thing you have to understand is you lose about a third of your money to the government. Now, here's what I like to tell people. This is not a pessimistic call, and I don't want you to feel like we're beating up the system. Capitalism works, and taxes are fine, but what happens is most people overpay their taxes. See, wealthy people have a philosophy. I'm not giving the government a dime more than I should, whereas the middle class and poor people struggle because we overpay taxes and then wait on what's called a tax refund. So that's an unfortunate thing. It's something that most people grow up thinking that you have to have is a tax refund check. So if you're taking notes, here's the key. You work for the government primarily from January to April. That's a powerful, powerful statement when you understand that a third of your income goes to the government. Now, let me just let me ask you guys a question. If you're already paying property taxes, everything you buy, you pay a sales tax. You pay ad valorem tax when you get a car, all kind of taxes. You tag. I mean, you're getting taxed all the way around. Why do people overpay their income taxes when, when that's the one that you at least can do something about? See, I can't do anything about my property taxes. I chose this house. So you got to pay taxes. I can't do anything about sales tax. That's non-negotiable. You walk in, you can't say, uh, can you take the taxes off of this shirt? You can't do that. But income taxes, you have a decision that you can make, and we'll talk about that. The third objective is debt. Write this down. My taxes led to my debt. A lot of people don't know that, but it, but it really did. It, didn't, it helped. Let's put it that way. It helped. My taxes helped create my debt because what happens is if the government takes a third, we end up trying to get that third back from the banks. Now, how do we do it? We do it with interest. We do it with car note, student loan, mortgage, right? Everything you can imagine, the, the banks are willing to lend you. So if the bank is willing to lend it to me, it must be okay. Sure it's okay because they're going to make interest on your money. I do a scenario on our, one of our websites where I show people how $5,000 can quickly become 40000 if you're not careful. The bank can make 40000 off of your five. It's pretty crazy. And then last but not least, we're talking about the four obstacles that keep you from making money. You work for the government from January to April. You work for the, for the banks from May to August. And then you work for a big business from September to December. You see, most people make what are called less than ideal cash flow decisions. We have to have the iPhone. We gotta have the iPhone 5. We gotta have the iPhone 5S. We gotta have the iPhone 6. We gotta have the 6S. Oh, wait a minute. I got a tablet, but they got a faster tablet. Oh, wait a minute. I got a flat screen, but I need a bigger flat screen. See, most people always feel compelled to make sure they have the newest, hottest, latest, and greatest thing. Now, it's nothing wrong with that. Do I have flat screen TVs? Of course. Do I have an iPhone 5? Of course. But what I like to get people to realize is that you have businesses in your pocket 24-7. The question becomes, are those businesses robbing you of your wealth on Christmas, on New Year's, on New Year's Eve, on Valentine's Day, on Mother's Day, on Father's Day, spring break, on Fourth of July, on Labor Day, on Easter, you know what I mean, or on Thanksgiving, on Halloween, every month, prom, graduation, you name it, back to school. There's something capitalism demands that you spend your money on. So the question becomes, how much are you participating in something that you really don't have to if you want to get wealthy? Now, I'm not saying don't celebrate holidays. Don't get me wrong. I'm just showing you that the system is set up to make sure that you keep spending money. So what we want to do is give you guys three solutions to the four problems. How do you outpace inflation? If gas doubled and daycare doubled and insurance doubled, how do you double your money, right? If the government is taking a third of my money. How can I get that money back without having to borrow it and pay everything back times three? That's what most people do. How can I stop making decisions that do not benefit my family? See, we want to give you guys a turnkey system and a strategy tonight, not sales, rah, rah, hype, fluff and puff, and stay excited. We'll give you a Lexus, a BMW, or Mercedes. At the end of this call, we're going to show you how to get some free stuff. No, nah, if we show you how to manage your money, you can go buy the Mercedes, Lexus, BMW, Ferrari, Lamborghini with cash. See, we don't, we don't, we're not against nice things. We just want you to get them the right way. Okay, so let's talk about strategies tonight versus sales. And I, I don't like to beat up sales because honestly, 
Um, this is me on the left when I was only 22 years old. Sales actually retired me at a very, very early age. I was able to make my first million dollars in my 20s from home. So by the time I graduated from college, I retired, and by my late 20s, I was working out of my house, and I never looked back. That was over 15, uh, 16 years ago. So I travel the world showing people how to shift their mindset, create a home-based business, and therefore you can shift your income. So the most important thing that you have to realize is no matter what you do, if you don't change the way you think, you always have what you have. Very, very important. So the reality is this. The solutions come in the form of a concept called income shifting. Income shifting means we don't over, we start by getting our money back from the entities that are taking our money. So we don't overpay taxes, we pay our taxes, and then we put the money that we have to work. So we have a three-tier strategy, or a three-tier cake, I like to call it, to get your money back and make sure most of it is going to the person who deserves it, which is you. So the first thing we have to do is get better control of our cash flow. That's strategy one. We're going to talk about that. For most people that have a job, they have cash flow issues, and they don't understand why. Strategy two is to start a home-based business, and you don't have to look any further than this webinar. This webinar will include a home-based business where if you want to share the strategies with people, then guess what? You now have a home-based business and get the tax deduction. And my favorite is strategy number three. Strategy three is cool. It's the one where your money makes money. It's called investment income. So what is our triple play? Cash flow management. Let's make your own money go further. Keep more in your house. Business income, because a business is not taxed like a, a W-2. And investment income, because money is not taxed anywhere near what labor is taxed. So guess what? You would think this would be $2,000, $3,000, you know, we're going to hit you with some online course for nine weeks on money. Nope. 500 Nope. $400? Nope. $400? Nope. $699? Nope. $299? Nope. <laughs> $179. We want to make it affordable so everybody can get their money right, get their finances right. $179 one time. $29 a month, and you now own and operate your own home-based business. So whenever people ask me, I say, okay, they say, well, now what, is, what, is, what exactly do I get? I say, okay, think about it for a minute. For $179, we are going to give you the strategy, the software, the system, and the success. See, it's nothing like having people who've done it before actually give you the strategy on how they did it but then provide the software for $29 a month so you can implement it and keep your website and everything up and running, the mobile app and everything I'm going to show you. Then we give you the training system and teach you how investments work. Why are you investing in retail when you can invest wholesale? Why are you not getting a higher rate of return on the money that you have? And all of that leads to your financial success. So I'll be honest with you, 129 is a joke. I'm sorry, 179 one time is a joke, and the, and the $29 a month becomes a write-off because now you work from home, including the 179. They both are write-offs, so they're tax deductions. So what do we do? Brian, what's the first step? Okay, step one, you need to revisit your W-4. That's the first thing you have to do. I'm not saying go change it. I'm not saying tamper with it, but I am telling you most people have some adjustments that they can make on their W-4. Now, what's the W-4? People confuse this. The W-4 is the form that you filled out when you got your job. You remember they put you in that little room and said, here's a form and we can't help you with it? Just know that the following answers are either going to be one or zero, <laughs> right? Human resources put you in that room, and we went straight down. Zero, zero, zero. Oh, I'm married. Okay, that's a one. Okay, I have a child. That's a one. Zero, 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 zero. Well, what happens is you basically told the government to take the majority of your money and go invest it. That's what people miss. Your tax refund is a refund. That's why it's called a tax refund. That's your money back that you work for that the government borrowed from you during the year. They went out and invested it and then gave you your money back after they made some money. So let's look at this, guys. This is the IRS website, right? Where does your refund come from? 
It comes from your wallet or purse when you tell your employer how much to withhold from your paycheck. You see? So your refund comes from you. Or you make an estimated tax payment. For the average refund, that's about $40 a week too much. So Uncle Sam is saying on his website, most people basically overpay their taxes. I think a lot of people miss that. Now, if you had this $40 a week, which is $160 a month, and you put that $160 a month in an investment account over 12 months, that's one year, and then you took that same, um, you know, $1,500 a year and invested it at a high rate of return, this $40 a week can be costing you $50,000, dollars 70000 easily. That's what people miss. So you're giving your money to the government. So check this out. IRS website. You might be using the extra withholdings as a forced savings, but Uncle Sam does not pay interest on refunds, except in special circumstances. Putting the money in any type of savings account or paying down debts might be a better option. So what the government is saying is why don't you guys get your money, use it, and put it to work, pay your debts down, instead of making us save it and invest it and create more cash flow for yourself. So here's how it looks. Very important. See, what we do, we create what are called multiple streams of income. So if you have a W-2, you need to understand you, you're getting taxed at the highest rate, anywhere from 28 to 33% of your money goes to the government. So we show you how to create business income. So here's some examples. This is our, one of our software um, strategies that we give you. Under cash flow management, let's create some business income. Let's then look at our W-4 and see if Uncle Sam will give us our money that we're working for up front instead of the refund. See, if you're getting a refund, that means you overpaid. So people say, well, Brian, if I, if I get my um, W-4 adjusted, won't I owe? No, you won't owe because we're going to show you the home-based business that you're going to open, number one. But number two, you're just saying instead of waiting until next year, give me my refund now instead of me participating in that. So I think a lot of people misunderstand the refund uh, and how it works. That's why I read that to you. So we're going to take our tax savings that you were giving away. You're going to take some business income monthly by referring to strategy. Then we're going to look at where you may be overspending in our software. Then we're going to look at taking one and two and three and eliminating your debt. See, if we take the expense money you were, you were um, spending, the tax savings, we can take these two and eliminate some of your payments and free up your car note. Free up your credit card. You see? Now we take one, two, three, and four and start investing. So we can take a negative cash flow and flip that bad boy around. This calculator says I've, I've accumulated $5,762 in positive cash flow. It may have been, you know, negative $300 before I implemented my strategy. But I want you guys to recognize this. This is important. The key here is to get this money back from Uncle Sam and get this money back from the banks and get this money back from your businesses, the, the big businesses that are taking your money, late fees, all of that stuff, right, overdraft fees. What, what kind of expenses do you have going out? Do you have some bad habits that you got? Can you, can you cut back on the cigarettes? Whatever it is, this money right here, the 864, the 125, the 450 can make you wealthy if you start putting it down here with your investments. See, it's your own money that's going to make you rich. So what we do is we show you and we prove it to you. I want you to look at this. Now that you have a business, before your business, you would make $50,000 on your job, get taxed about 18, take home about 32. Pay your debt with another 18, mortgage, car notes, student loan, credit cards. Now you got to live off of 14. Okay, this actually should be pay debt right here. So you pay your debt here. Now watch what a home based business does. A home based business says, wait a minute, we'll take your square footage, which you're paying in your bills. We'll take your sale bill, which you're paying in your in your bills. We'll take your meals, your entertainment, your travel, your mileage. We'll let you make the same $50,000. We'll let you subtract the bills because you have a business. So now all of these things become write-offs from your lifestyle because you have a home-based business where you need your money up front. You see, you have to understand the psychology, not the psychology, but the process 
and the philosophy of a business owner, according to the government, and the philosophy of a W-2 before you had a business. So now the government says, you know what, go ahead and pay your bills first because we need you to stay in business. Whereas over here, you paid your bills last, and you struggled to pay them because of everything else. So we're going to take the 32000 and we'll tax you on 32000 which will give you about 7000 in taxes as opposed to 18000 in taxes. You see the difference? So from here to here, you got to look at how much money you actually saved. You saved yourself about 11000 a year in taxes. That's 900 a month, guys. From what? From a strategy. From a strategy. You took your expenses and you opened a home-based business for 179 and the government says, okay, now that you have a business, you need to go ahead and pay your bills first and tax us on the back end. That's why business owners get the tax breaks. The government is basically encouraging you to get a business. Now, if you choose to refer our business, it's pretty cool. You now can leverage this education and make money. Brian, what do you mean leverage the education? Okay, let's conclude with this. Very important. Let's say you know a friend who's overworked, underpaid, and Jay says, I need some money today. Then you got a friend named Jen who says, Brian, can you help me pay off all these credit cards? Okay, no problem, Jen. We'll show you a strategy how to do it. He says, Brian, I'm approaching retirement, man, and I'm looking at getting a part-time job. So you got three friends with different scenarios. You earn $25 off Jay, $25 off Jen, and $25 off Pete. Now, this is nothing to run home and do cartwheels. This won't make you rich, okay? But what it will do is create leverage for you because now you earn 50%. You earn 50% off the commission checks of your first three people. Now, that sounds pretty good, right? That's not bad. You want Jay to blow up. You want Jan to blow up. You want Pete to blow up because the bigger they get, the bigger you get. Now, Cam is your fourth person. Your fourth person starts what's called your base shop. So anytime you see BS, 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 from the fourth person and beyond, you hit what's called EVP. EVP means your base shop has begun. You earn $1,000 every time seven people enter your base shop, $1,000, whether you told them or not. How cool is this? Kim can tell Bill. Bill can tell Carl. Carl can tell Trey. Joan can tell Kate. Kate can tell Dave. You don't care. As long as they're in your base shop, every time you pass the number seven, you make 1000 bucks. There's no speed limit. There's no race. It doesn't forfeit. You don't have to get it within 30 days. You don't have to panic if you don't make it. Don't get upset. You know, none of that. Very, very powerful. And guess what else? You earn $25 off everyone in your base shop. So if they're in your base shop, you get a $25 override per person through infinity in your base shop. And you make 1000 every time you pass seven. So if a picture's worth a 1,000 words, how about this? Here's Gail Andrews out of Hyattsville, Maryland. You heard her on the call tonight. One of her very first checks. She brought in uh, John. John, she earned $50 off of John, and she earned $1,050 on her paycheck. My personal assistant, Ms. Shana Rollins, $1,490. That's all those 25s. 25, 25, 25, 25, 25,000. 25, 25, 25. I mean, it's unbelievable. 1490 My good friend, Mark Well. One thousand two hundred. I mean, one thousand twenty-two dollars and thirty-two cents. March, April, one thousand one hundred and twenty-eight dollars. April again, one thousand seventy-five dollars. So think about it. If you just had a, this, stop right here. If you just had an extra two grand a month coming in, would the mortgage feel a little bit better? Could you get out of debt a lot faster and stop giving that money to the banks? Stop giving that money to credit cards. If we just stop there, but guess what? He didn't. Marquel, $999.52. May. Marquel, $1,123. June, $7,000. I'm sorry, um, $7,800. July, $2,000. So you can make as much or as little as you want. 
the, the checks are up to you. You can go as high as you want to go or stay as low as you want to stay. The good thing is you have a home-based business that you can leverage. Very, very important. So the key to any home-based business, make sure you understand this as I conclude, is good record keeping. you got to keep good records. See, the government wants to see that you're making a valiant attempt to operate a home-based business. So you want to keep your records. And what we do is we provide you with the software and the mobile app to keep good records. Pretty cool. So the first thing you do is you download our mobile app, not from the iPhone store or from your um, Android store. It downloads from your profile when you join the business. So you create your profile. Then it asks, do you want to enter an expense, income, take a picture with your phone of the receipt, or log in your mouse? So you just make a selection. Love it, love it, love it. Now watch this. So you say, okay, no problem. I made fourteen twenty-five this week on March 2014, March 14th. I also paid my cell phone bill, $117. It reoccurs. So guess what? You don't have to put it in every month. You hit the reoccur button, and now your software automatically adds your cell phone bill every month. So it's not a big headache. Or you can do this on a computer. If you're not a mobile phone person, you don't have a PDA, you still got your little flip phone, Motorola, no problem. Hold on to your, your little Motorola Razor, okay? And now you do this on the computer. I went out to eat, meals and entertainment. I went to Applebee's. I spent $47. I had lunch with my extra digit team. What do we do? We, we learned 243, talked about the strategy. Where? Atlanta. Where'd you go? Uh, it took me about 40 miles. I drove 40 miles today. So why am I doing all that? Well, the government's going to re- reward me. Now everything is in my spreadsheet. I spent 179 to join my econ, my commission check from my mobile app. When I type it in, there it is on my spreadsheet. There's my $29 monthly fee on my spreadsheet. There's my cell phone bill, my Verizon bill on my spreadsheet. There's my dinner at Applebee's on my spreadsheet. There's my 40 miles. See, it all populates for you. Now you print this bad boy out or add it to a zip drive or print it out. Hey, you got good record keeping. Your CPA loves you. Because they're not going through a manila folder with a 1,000 receipts, and you are what we call good to go. Now, this is something pretty powerful. We have something called a Family Shield 360 and an online shopping mall. Let me show you what the Family Shield is real quick. We have five different types of insurance in one. If you ever need discounted legal care, you need to talk to an attorney, Somebody's trying to sue you. You need to sue somebody, right? Somebody owes you some money. You, 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 you know, you get a speed ticket, whatever. Man, it can be three or $400 just to do a consultation with an attorney. We have this kind of legal care. We have identity theft solutions. Protect your social. Protect your passport. Protect your identity. That's real big these days, um, identity fraud offline. We have tax preparation and audit assistance. We have financial education and credit counseling. Help you get your credit score up. We have life events. If your child or you or your husband, wife, you need to talk to a counselor about something serious professionally. All five insurances for $13. All five of these are included for $13.95, discounted insurance. And then, look, we give you residual checks off the $13.95. We give you residual checks off the mobile app. We give you residual checks off the $29. You earn anywhere from one to eight dollars a month off all of our services. Can you imagine? We have people with thousands of people in their organizations. If you just got three dollars and it's six thousand people in your group, that's eighteen thousand a month in residual income off of a three dollar commission from the thirteen ninety five. Can you do that? So that's the residual check. The bonuses are cool, but guess what? It gets better. Online shopping. For free we include it on your website. 1.5 million different products are in here. Walmart, Priceline, Hotels.com, Restaurants.com, PetSmart, Target. When you shop, don't go to Amazon without going through your portal. Get your books from your portal. Now you get cash back, and you get cash back as your organization shops online, something they're doing anyway. See, this is not one of those things where you have to go out and sell and build a sales team and stay motivated. All you really need to do is what you're currently doing. Just go through your website to buy things. Go through your website to monitor your finances. Go through your website to create positive cash flow. And last but not least, 
business income. Business income is so important. I'm sorry, investment income is strategy three. Business income is what we just talked about. Investment income is so important because it's not taxed as much. See, investment income, money does not get taxed 30%, 28%, 33%. Money is taxed between 10 and 15%. So assets and appreciation, dividends, you know, capital gains, anytime your money makes money, it doesn't pay the high amount of taxes. Why do you think that's set up? Ask the wealthy people why they set it up that way, right? They knew money would make more money, so they didn't want to pay the high end like work, like the wage earners. It's capitalism. Understand that. So what we do is we help you set priorities. What do you want to do right now long term? Okay? So hypothetically, I want to build my retirement. I want to pay off my debt. I want to buy a house. I want to, you know, um, save for college. Okay, no problem. Let's look at what you need to do. We give you four cash flow calculators for four different scenarios. So you can start understanding your money. See, it's your money, so you need to understand it and how it works. All right? I need X amount of dollars in X amount of years. How do I do it? Okay, here's the desired amount you need. Here's the interest rate you need to find, and we help you with that. Here's the number of years it'll take. What would that give me? Boom, calculate. What about this? I have a one-time lump sum, Brian. I got a, I got a lump sum coming in, and how much money will that be if I invest it in X amount of years? We have that scenario for you. Okay, I have about $300 a month. If I put it in my interest-bearing account, how much will that 300 a month bring me in X amount of years? We got that scenario. All right, I need $1 million in the next 20 years. How much do I need to put away monthly? We got that in that scenario. See, it's time to start understanding your finances so you can ask the questions. So we give you the income calculator so no matter what your question is, you know what your goals are. Now we show you how to hit your goals. Where do I get 8% instead of 2 Oh, man, the answer is simple, the wholesale market, not the retail market. What if I need $8,000 a month for the rest of my life, but Social Security is only giving me eight fifty? Well, you 21 and you're seventy one fifty short. If you need 8000 but the check is eight fifty, you've got a long way to go. But don't panic because all you need is $952 a month. What? Yes, yes. Here's your retirement date that you gave us. You need 952 from your home-based business to land right on 993000 you have 79000 in your investments. So that's what you're short. You need one hundred. You need $1,072,000 in investments at 8%. You need $1,072,000 that will cut this check every month right here at 8%. Now, watch what happens when you try to go to the bank and do the same thing. Brian, I need eight grand. No problem. Social Security is only eight fifty. No problem. You're still seventy one short. But because you're at the bank trying to do it at two percent, oh, you need four million now. Instead of what? Oh, the, in the wholesale market, it was only one million seventy two thousand to cut the same check eight thousand. But I want to just work and save. Brian, I'm going to work, I'm going to work, work, work to have my retirement, and I'm going to put it in the bank and just stash it. Well, you can't do that because inflation is 4%. The bank is giving you 2%, so you're losing money at the bank. People don't understand that. So you need $4 million, and all you need is $10,453 a month. No big deal. You need $10,453 a month to get the same results at the same date because you under inflation. So we train you guys on all of this. You're not, you don't have to understand this tonight. We have training on Facebook. Join our group, Extra Digit. We have training on YouTube. Put in Extra Digit Movement and get, and get some of our training videos. Very important. We have a mobile app. We have CDs, DVDs, webinars such as this. You name it, we got you covered. We have an online platform that we call our Extra Credit Marketing System where we give you videos to put your people on an autoresponder so we can educate them and ultimately all roads lead back to you. So we create a website and capture page for you. Just an option so you can start to increase your production by a factor of 10. Then we have live events like Game Changer. Our next one is September 6th, 7th, and 8th. Don't miss it. Myself, the owner of the company, 
uh, two of my mentors and two of my colleagues doing keynote addresses to share with you how they earned a million dollars in their professions. So you want to learn from millionaires, and you want to hang around people and rub elbows. So our event website is GameChangerATL.com, GameChangerATL.com. So at this stage in the game, guys, it's real simple. Do me a favor. Let us know if you're a number three, a two, or a one. A number three says thank you, but no thank you. I overpay my taxes. No, I'm just joking. No, no problem. If this is not for you and you don't want to learn economics and finance, that's no problem. But at least share this website with the person who or somebody that you know and thank the person that put you on here because they wanted you to see a strategy that wealthy people use. A number two says, hey, I'm in. I want to just pretty much focus on the cash flow strategy, getting my money right, help my money stay in my household a lot longer and go further. No problem. Get your 179 in. Get, uh, pay your 29.99. You don't do it up front. You worry about the 29 next month. So all you need right now is 179. And then we'll show you how to create your cash flow, use the system, and you can refer people if you choose. But this guy, the number one, says, I'm in. I'm ready to share, and I need some of those $1,000 checks. This person right here is what we call the builder. This person right here is the strategist. They just want to make some money, and this person, number three, is out. So if you're number two or number one, let us know if you're two or one because our game plan will go according to what number you are. So that's our time, guys. I encourage you to go ahead and get your website uh, tonight. Um, get your 179 in. Get trained. Our training begins on extradigitmovement.com, and just click on Members. Again, our website is extradigitmovement.com, and just click on Members, and you'll see some training, and then we duplicate that. That's my time tonight, guys. I went a little bit longer than normal because I want to be thorough because game changers on the way, and I want to make sure all you guys that are brand new understand it. I'll talk to you guys on Sunday night, and God bless.